Hey guys, D Mike here with another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. It's right after Christmas, so if you guys had some happy holidays, whether you celebrate the old X Mass, maybe you had a little bit of Hanukkah, or you got some Kwans in your blood, whatever, whatever is your soup du jour of the holiday season. I hope you had a good time with you and yours. All right, so Super Nintendo Sundays you might notice something a little different. Well, your boy, D-Mike here at D-Mike Industries, went back and replayed every level for a perfect hundred. How about that? You might notice the music's a little more cheery to celebrate a perfection. No, that's actually a huge lie. Um, as you can tell, obviously it is because I have all six of the worlds unlocked, which is not what's happened. So, went through and did a little bit of a Chitaro to make this happen. This is the way that you unlock all the bonus stages here. There's one per world, I believe. And uh, yeah, you get a hundred perfecto points. And you, you earn yourself one of these bonus stages. Not sure how I feel about them because I'm not, you know, particularly good at this game, but imagine this one not going too well because that's just the way she goes sometimes. Oop, that was great. Okay, well, Poochie, if you can come back, that'd be awesome. Thank you. I haven't really played through this very much, so... Oh, Poochie gets that for us? What a pal! Okay, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, my goodness, okay. This is a little, uh, whoa, okay, this is a little wild. Poochie, if you want to hang up, come here, that'd be great. Oh, okay. Poochie's now dead. And so are we. All right, good good first start to the video. We're doing great. Yes, we'd like to try again. Think of this run through as kind of an alternate dimension. We have breached space time here at D Mike Industries. We have been able to travel faster than the speed of light. And as such, obtain the ability to enter an alternate timeline. I'm not entirely sure what makes Poochie go. It's a question I like to ask myself sometimes. What makes d Mike go? What makes d Mike fall into the lava? All right, so this is going great. We're doing awesome. This might uh, be a uh, the old Re Resetti Spaghetti here coming up soon. I've not played through this one and this might <laughs> This level might just be the video. We'll see. I don't really want to jump too far ahead because I actually want the... I want the actual attempts that I do on the... You know, on the levels to be, you know, somewhat legitimate. I'm not trying to cheese this game or anything, but... Oh boy. Okay. This is all... Live in front of a studio audience. This is happening... As we speak, or as I speak, I guess. As you, as I speak and you listen. That sounds kind of aggressive. I speak and you listen. All right, here we go. Get there, Yoshi. Okay. Whew. All right. So it looks like Poochie's dead again. I don't even know where where Poochie. Oh boy. Come back. Oh no. Whew. Yeah. This is okay. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be one of those videos. Okay, so nothing that happens here in this recording counts. I would like to continue, yes. I'm just gonna have at it until I get it done. This is what I get for using the old cheat codes. I remember back in the day how fun it was to have like the Game Genie thing. It was the separate extension that you would have, you would plug in as a cart into your Super Nintendo. You'd plug it into the Super Nintendo first, and then you would plug your video game into it on top of that. And it would essentially act as a supplement for your game. And it would allow you to use the cheat codes. And I remember how much fun it was as a kid to go to things like the book fair. And at the book fair, there would always be these cheat code novels, basically. Like these huge basically like binder full of novel oh binder full of novels that's not a thing binder full of women it was a it was a book that had 
I'm trying to even think about what it looked like. It was, I remember them being kind of tall and just very dense, very thick with two C's. And you would get these books. I mean, I sometimes I would buy them if my, if my parents would give me allowance. Most of the time they did not because what's the sense of having fun anyway? So, oh boy. And I would, I would sometimes get, you know, oh my gosh, this is going to be rough. I would sometimes get, I don't know, $5, $10 in back in the day money. And upon collection of said allowance, if I was a good lad, sometimes I would be able to go to that book fair and buy myself something neat. And I would always go right for like the Guinness Book of World Records. Please don't assume you Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, see Yoshi also kind of like wags his finger. I don't know if that's supposed to be like for Poochie, but this level is kind of a butt. And I would I would go right to those, or like the Captain Underpants books. Does anybody remember those? Captain Underpants, huh? The pants? And the, I remember those being a big deal. But yeah, it was those, the... Um, great, Gucci, if you could return, you could do... Oh, you stuck? Great, so I think we're, I think we're dead in the water here. So we can't go into that. This level is... Whew. Okay, so that's two game overs. We'll see how many we do on this post-holiday bonus episode. I mean, it's not really a bonus episode. It sort of is, but we're going to keep at it. I think I'll give myself three, three game overs before maybe I, I play for a little bit and give you guys some legitimate com content instead of just me being a ding-dong. I have not, once again... Full disclosure, have not pre-played this because I figured if I'm gonna be a cheater, I'm gonna pay for my pay for my discretions. I'm gonna have to deal with my own sins. Alright. Oof. That's one thing that's kinda tough is like the hitbox for Poochie is not super well defined. So I'm having trouble really figuring out where it is, but I'm gonna just try to be patient here. This almost feels like it's an auto-scroller, but it almost feels like you have to like kind of be on top of that yourself, too. Like, come on, Poochie, get up here. Get up here. Oh, it's like I'm controlling him. Okay, I see. So, I don't even know where Poochie is now. Okay. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's as the French say, un garbage. Yeah, this one's brutal. It's gonna be 15 minutes of just me being a numbskull trying to figure this all out. Oh, see. <laughs> Can't even do the basic stuff right. It's the holiday hangover, everybody. That's what it is. Too much eggnog and mistletoe. Having too much fun. Yeah, I used to always go... Oh, my gosh. I'm not even making good mistakes at this point. I... Ay, ay, ay! Um... I'd always go and get those those cheat books, whether I'd buy them outright, which were like, they were very tall, skinny, and like very thick. And like the, the cheat codes in them were like the finest print you'll ever read. Like they were just trying to cram as much crap into those as they possibly could. And I remember sometimes I would just go to the book fair, like during, you know, like we had like predetermined times that we could go, like as a class. Oh, there's that. And, uh, I would just go and, like, copy them down. Stencil them out. Okay. So that's three game overs. I don't want to waste anybody else's time here with my folly, so I'm actually gonna go... I'm gonna get good. And, uh, let's see what that run-through looks like. Okay, everybody, it's the Ghost of Christmas Future. This is actually post-commentary. I wanted to give you guys a glimpse into an actual full run through this level instead of me embarrassing myself numerous times, as I never do. It's very rare for there to be any sort of mistakes or failures in gameplay on DMAC Industries. We pride ourselves on how consistent and functional we are at a high level. It's all about efficiency, everybody. Work smarter, not harder. But anyway, this is the full run through of this level, and I'm only doing it this way because 
The tedium that would be required to actually access these levels on a regular basis, getting 100 on every single stage would just be something I don't really have time or patience for. That was clutch, by the way. A little MLG Pro move. Don't really have the time or energy for. These Super Nintendo Sundays, above all, beyond just the regular content I produce during the week, these ones are meant to be extra cash, you know? Just very kind of relaxed and fun. No pressure. Shorter levels, shorter episodes, just kind of real fun, easy going, laid back way to be. So we're going to bend the rules a little bit. We're going to consider this non-canon, part of an alternate timeline. And ooh, that was close. Yeah, see that hitbox of Poochie is very, very hard to kind of navigate sometimes because it's like just the edge of its head. And I didn't really quite understand the mechanic of this until I had hit, like, done a dozen tries. And I think that it's all dependent on where you go. You take a leap of faith and you think like, oh man, the rest of the level is gonna be really brutal, but then this is just it. This is it. So hopefully you guys were okay with this being a bonus stage level just by itself. I wasn't really super excited. There wasn't a ton I could do with this, but hopefully in the future, there'll be better content for these bonus levels and we'll try not to stray away from the norm. So thanks for watching, everybody. Happy holidays. And I'll see you guys next time. This has been Happy hol Happy Holidays. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays. Happy Holidays, Super Nintendo Sundays. I've been D-Mike. This has been Yoshi's Island, and I'll see you next time. Bye.